So before we start looking into these penguins right here, we're going to think about what we have learned from our the sounds of our letters, okay? So we have seen what two short sounds for what two letters, do you remember? Mm. For U, yes. U and E. Perfect, U and E. So what is our short E sound? What, what sound does the short E make? Eh. Eh, very good. Could you give me an example of a word with the short E sound? Ben. Very good. Ben. Okay. So now let's think about the short U sound. So what sound does that make? Ah. Excellent. So now think about a, a word with the short U sound, with the U uh sound. Up. Excellent. Up. Very good. Okay. So let me see. Okay, so now let's review our three vocabulary words for our stories, okay? So the first word is character. So could you say what a character is, please? Is an animal or a, a person who pretend to be the character. Okay, so it's an animal or a person in a story, right? Yes. Very good. Okay, what about setting. the setting? In what is story? this? A setting is... Hmm, a setting. Yeah. Okay. Setting is is where a story takes place. Okay, where a story takes place. Very good. So think about the story we read last time about the, the three cubs. What setting was it in that story? So is in the hut. Okay, in the hut. Very good. Okay. And the last word was events. So what is event. an event? Are what happened in the story. Okay, what happened in the story. So could you give me one example of an event in the Three Cubs story? So they were tucked in bed. Then suddenly, then suddenly, Ring drops come into the hug. Very good. Okay, so that was one event. Very, very good job. Okay, and the last part. Um, do you remember we talked about plural words? Yes, plurals. Plurals, exactly. So what does plural mean? What, what does it mean if a word is plural? A plural means more than one more than one. More than one, excellent. So if you're writing down a plural word, what letter is it going to end with? S. S, okay, perfect, Alita, you got it. 